Hey everybody, today I want to talk to opportunity seekers and hiring managers about ghosting and what constitutes ghosting at this point in the market. And there is no legal definition for it, so I'm certainly going to be giving my own two cents on it, but I think that the market would generally have a pretty decent consensus on what would be considered ghosting and what would not. And so whether we're talking about on the part of the the uh, applicant or on the part of the hiring company, um, it comes out to be almost the same thing. So if you look at the initial stage, which would be outreach to inquire about interest, so that means whether it's the, the uh, job seeker reaching out to inquire about whether or not they can interview for a position or a company or a recruiter reaching out to a candidate to inquire would you be interested in chatting to hear about an opportunity? So a lack of response to this, certainly in my uh, point of view, does not qualify as ghosting. So that's not ghosting. It is nice to get a response, of course, uh, on either side of the table, but uh, that does not constitute ghosting, uh, of course. And I really don't think that we can say that the party on the receiving end of that outreach is obligated to respond to everyone. There's, it's simply too easy to do a very high volume of outreach these days and therefore the people on the receiving end are receiving a very large volume of, of outreach. So wouldn't call that ghosting and don't think that really we can uh, justify saying that everyone needs to respond to every single outreach that they get inquiring about interest. Next would be after an initial response indicating interest. So whether the, uh, you know, a, a potential applicant responded, sure, I'd like to hear about that opportunity, or whether the company received a resume and said, hey, yes, we'd like to talk to you about this position, but then there's no follow-up after that. I still personally do not feel like this constitutes ghosting. Of course, if there was an initial response and there seemed to be some interest, it would be nice to get a follow-up explaining that, you know, party A is no longer interested in pursuing conversations with party B, but I do not think that we can call that ghosting. Once a first interview has taken place, or really we could say once a first interview has been scheduled would be a better way to say that, and then one party or the, or the other disappears and, and, you know, does not show up for that interview and never explains why. This would meet the definition of ghosting, uh, and that's certainly something that no party on either side should ever be doing, whether it's the applicant trying to get a position with the company or whether uh, it is the company who is, um, you know, interviewed a candidate and is interested in, in, in having that interview and moving them forward. And finally, anything at the point of a second interview being scheduled and or taking place and further along than that is absolutely ghosting and that is certainly the worst kind of ghosting that can take place. Anything after a first interview has happened and um, and then one party or the other disappears on the, uh, the other party uh, would definitely fit the definition of ghosting. So hopefully a whole lot less ghosting going on for each of you uh, in 2024. Um, but just wanted to walk through uh, what I see as the current um, place where we draw the line and call something ghosting or not in the job market today. That's it for now. Happy hunting.